Hey Libra, I appreciate you tuning in to your love reading for the week. It's going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your Jupiter, your North Node, and what signs in your 7th house, okay? And what rules your 7th house. Keep in mind what resonates with every single Libra, alright? That, that watches, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. Or take it how it resonates to you, okay? Personal reading information in the description box. Y'all know all that good stuff. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. <laughs> if this resonates with you, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, Libra. So, so far, we have wedding. Mm, hold on. Let me turn the light down. <clears throat> all right. Wedding. <laughs> Reconciliation. Hmm. All right. So Aquarius got this too. Some of you guys might be dealing with an Aquarius. And, ooh, attraction. And then we have trust on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So let's see what comes out. I'm interested to see what the energy is. I'm a Libra rising, so... Curious to see what comes out. Why is wedding here? Spirit. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. Um, this could be someone you were married to or in some type of committed commitment to that uh, was breadcrumbing you. The Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I'm getting the vibe so far that someone was moving very slow. They weren't giving you a whole lot. Um, could be an earth sign that you were dealing with, uh, Libra. Or Gemini, okay? Attraction, the magician. Uh, could be a Gemini or Virgo. You um, are dealing with now or was dealing with this past person. Um, I'm getting a vibe of someone that is or was moving very, very slow to get, to get the commitment or to give you the commitment that you were looking for. I feel like you were looking for a commitment and this person just was kind of like bullshitting. <clears throat> Take it how it resonates. Whew. Trust. <laughs> um, this comes out for trust, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you guys, Libra, you always get this energy, this uh, stressed energy. The four of pentacles on the bottom. So whoever this is that's coming up in your energy, I'm getting the vibe that they're holding on to you or they're still not really um, expressing themselves. They're still not really being expressive. Um, however, I'm getting the vibe of them. They are kind of, um, I wouldn't even say kind of, they are stressed out. And I feel like they may be worried that you won't accept their offer. Because I feel like, Libra, it may have been a long time since you talked to this person. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? I'm getting the vibe of someone was breadcrumbing you, uh, Libra. They weren't giving. They were taking more than they were giving. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, um, they were taking more than they were giving. You were putting in more work than this person This person was, and they were trying to reap the benefits of it. The Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, yeah. <clears throat> they were trying to reap the benefits of what you were um, putting in. Ooh. <sighs> the Nine of Swords again, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, ooh, and the Knight of, no way, y'all. The Knight of Pentacles is here, and the Knight of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that's, like, really slow. They were moving really slow, and I feel like you may have lost your patience with this person, um, Libra. You lost your patience. I feel like this person um, also needed to grow up. They have They had a lot of growing up to do. And they just refuse to do it. Cards going everywhere. Oop, the four of pentacles again, guys. 
Okay, yeah. The strength card, yeah. This this person wasn't um hold on y'all. Could be a Leo as well. This person wasn't um expressing themselves. I feel like too, you may be meeting a Libra, uh not a Libra, a Leo. Hold on, y'all. Let me get the cards that fell all over the place. Okay. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So, what fell out, this is what I saw. The Four of Pentacles, again, the Four of Pentacles is over here as well. I'll show you what fell out. The Page of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Devil, <laughs> the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, Libra. I feel like you have someone that regrets not giving you what you wanted because I'm feeling like they also wanted what you wanted Libra man this person has a lot to say Ooh, the hangman yes <laughs> wow okay yeah this this person's definitely seeing things differently now they're seeing that they should have done things a different way. They should have handled you differently, Libra, now that you're not dealing with them anymore. The Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they, they see you as their emotional fulfillment. Yeah. They are stressing because they are feeling like you have, <clears throat> you've moved on. I also get the vibe that... Um, They want to come back and give you this offer that whoever knows how long you've been waiting on this person to give an offer. But I feel like they're really, really in their head about it. This person is having anxiety. They're probably depressed, Libra. This person is going through some things. Oh, yeah, the strength card um, on the bottom of the deck. So, And we have strength here. Yeah, this person is battling some inner demons. A heavy, heavy Libra. Okay, a whole lot. Um, and I feel like that's why they were kind of breadcrumbing you before as well. Yeah, trying to, ooh, the Ten of Cups came out again. The Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they weren't prioritizing the connection. But I feel like they want to now. They want to give to... They want to give to the emotional fulfillment that they left behind. Or you may have left them alone because you were tired of waiting on them. Yeah, the Nine of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, Libra, I feel like you got tired of waiting on them and you just kind of like abandoned it. <laughs> yeah, the Nine of Cups. Listen, guys, this person is, yeah, they're, they're going to give you a love offer. I feel like they're really, really in their head about it, though. Yeah. And I feel like this, they're, they're up at night thinking about you a lot. This person may be thinking about how to give you this offer. And in the midst of them staying up at night thinking about you, day after day after day listen Libra I feel I feel like for a lot of you this is someone you haven't talked to in a while so if this is someone you may have stopped talking to like a, a month or so ago or whatever I don't feel like this is that person but take it how it resonates okay I always take the story how it resonates all right um I feel like this is someone you haven't talked to for months three or more months that still thinks about you heavily like a whole lot to the point where they're depressed and anxious about coming back to you. And they don't know what your situation is right now, Libra. They don't know if you're with someone else. 
Yeah, oh, ace of cup, ace of uh, swords on the bottom. Yeah, you expect communication from this person. And I feel like it's going to surprise you who this, <laughs> who this is that reaches out. They've been thinking about you this entire time, Libra. And how to give you this love offer this entire time. And you've been waiting. You had waited on them for quite some time. Yeah, they feel like you're you're done. Ten of swords on the bottom. They feel like you might be done. It's not going to stop them from trying. But again, they're coming up as a knight. So their maturity level hat may not have, have grown a lot. The knight of pentacles is a good knight though. Like that's... This is this is one of the favorites. Well, I would say the favorite knight because this the Knight of Pentacles, it it does um that particular knight is is going for something solid. The Knight of Cups is good because he has feelings, but the Knight of Cups has the tendency to like be the type of person that love bombs you. The Knight of Cups can love bomb you, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is slow because he wants to build something solid. So I am getting that he wants he or she wants to build something solid with you. Now, <laughs> even though before they may have been breadcrumbing you, you are putting in more than them because they didn't prioritize y'all's connection at all. <laughs> oh man, they're scared to come forward, Libra. <laughs> oh gosh, could be a Pisces, could be a uh, Aquarius. The High Priestess and the King of Swords, guys. When I see this energy, I'm getting that the King of Swords comes out as your person's energy and they see you as this High Priestess energy. They are scared to come forward because they feel like they can see you can see through them, um, Libra. You can see right through their, their bullshit. So they're not going to be able to come with just anything. And I feel like that's what's been taking so long with them. Even when you guys were communicating, I feel like that's what was taking so long to give the uh, to give the offer, because they can't just offer anything. Because you're going to be able to see right through it. All right, let me see. Something fell on the floor, so I will pull these that fell on the floor. The spirit obviously wants me to get these. All right, <laughs> I want to reach out, but don't know what to say. Yeah, of course. 3 a.m. by Janine. Aquarius got these same cards. On My Love by Tank. Okay, let me pull some more. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, they are, they are stressing about how to talk to you or what to say to you. Because whatever happened between you two before, um, I feel like, you know, left a bad taste in your mouth, uh, Libra. It's not going to be easy for them to just come back around. Your lips look so kissable. I want to put my arms around you and never let go. I know I messed up everything, yeah. Let love replace fear. That might be the energy that both of you are in. I dream about you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're definitely in this person's dreams. Probably nightmares too. <laughs> it's come and be open to receive. So Libra, if you're looking for a new energy, I feel like that's for you. That's for someone needed to hear it. I want you so bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um. I want you to have my baby on the bottom of the deck. Ciao. I love your body. You're so beautiful to me. Oh, how sweet. Okay, Libra, that's y'all's reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. And I appreciate you for watching. Till next time, y'all. Peace out.